The 12th year of IMS Ibiza was curated in partnership with She Said So, the leading global network for women in the music industry. Empowering women means a more efficient use of a nation's human talent endowment and reducing gender inequality enhances productivity and economic growth. If all men got on board with us and became our allies, we all win. The 2019 program and keynote speakers focused on mental health, diversity, and examining club culture and the objective of developing fresh strategies and leading the direction for change in the electronic music industry. Key discussions featured Clash Bergling, father of Avicii, who discussed the important work the Tim Bergling Foundation will do in supporting people and organizations working in the field of mental illness and suicide prevention. We are setting it up to uh, do preventative uh, work for mental illness and uh, uh, suicide. And uh, we are also focusing on threatened animals and nature, uh, which was uh, Tim's passion. Following on from this, leading voices, including artists, managers, doctors and healthcare experts, united in a vital discussion about mental health challenges and what can be done to safeguard all of those working within the industry. I chose to, to say that I cannot live longer this way because I will, I will suffer the consequences of death, basically, on, with, on my own life. And I decided to find a way or take a twist in order to, to keep uh, doing what I, what I love to do. I mean, my passion was music. After all the years I've worked towards being successful, I've become successful. Now I don't want to drop the ball. So the one thing I can't do no matter what is stop. Because if I stop, everything does, you know? The machine doesn't work anymore because I'm captain of my own ship. I'm not a member of a band. There's no one I can really fall back on. I'm the face of it. And that's an incredible amount of pressure for any one person to to take and carry. People always say, oh, he's got a problem with drink, or he's got a problem with drugs, or he's got a problem with prescription pills, but actually that's not the problem, is it? The problem is the addiction, it's the stress, it's the depression, it's the mental health issues. The future of club culture was an important focus, starting with a keynote address from Keith Riley, co-founder of the iconic London club, Fabric. The club, it, it isn't about a building or sound system. It's about a group of people that you're sharing that experience with. If you're in a room full of shitheads, it ain't going to be a lot of fun. It's as simple as that. This set the tone for a special extended keynote debate never before seen at IMS, as leading figures from across the industry discuss whether club culture is heading in the right direction. She Said So presented a number of key discussions including a focus on restoring community to the dance floor, the future of feminism, and how to curate balanced lineups. You know, when you see a Peggy Goo gig, the whole front row are these screaming girls who are like, they, she represents us. The summit also provided insight on a number of topics, including discussions on the role of data in the music industry, how to be more sustainable, and the controversial topic of streaming technology in the DJ booth. We have this huge question mark here, which is where is the infrastructure to support it? So as a community and as industry leaders, if we all have this vision, we all need to head in that direction in SDK, API, licensing. IMS also shone a light on the music scene in emerging regions from Eastern Europe to Palestine and workshops from leading artists and industry icons, including Adam Bayer and Ida Engberg, Charlotte De Witter, Joseph Capriati, Jax Jones, and Zane Lowe. I just love it so, so very much. And if I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't keep on doing this because it is very demanding of your body and you never see family, you never see friends. So you have to completely and, and utterly love it. It's not about how long you play, it's how you bring the people in there and you never finish to learn. Personally for me, Ibiza had a quite vital role in changing my label and my sound. Ibiza has now uh, yeah, became like a, a hub for the promoters and DJ business, you know. When we were doing this uh, a long time ago, uh, there was 
there was no tension, you know, there was, it was just very easy. I guess um, the island has been changing as the industry. I think the most important is to respect between each and others and do the things in the right side to, to grow all together. But we need to make sure that there's a transition. If the island wants to change in a few years, well, there has to be a plan for it. Over 1,200 global delegates enjoyed IMS Week with events and opening parties across the island, including networking sessions hosted by DJ Mag, Ultra and Absolute Vodka. Alongside the industry discussions and talks, the summit also featured the Legends Award in honor of Javier Anadon creator and founder of Cafe Mambo, celebrating its landmark 25th anniversary this year. The grand finale took place at the 2,500-year-old UNESCO World Heritage Site for IMS Dort Villa, with DJ sets from leading names in electronic music.